Can you believe it's been five years since our first date? I know. Do you think I should start watching the Flash TV show? <laughs> That's what you're thinking about? Well, one of the things. Are any of them me? Yes. I thought, I can't decide if I should watch the Flash TV show. I know, I'll ask Amy. <laughs> anyway. What are you doing? You're right, you did kind of kill the mood. I didn't kill anything. You did, talking about your stupid TV show. Excuse me, starting to watch a television show that might run for years isn't a decision to take lightly. I'm wrestling with a big commitment issue here. Really? That's the commitment issue you're wrestling with? <laughs> Sheldon, do you understand the irony of your fixation on a man with super speed, while after five years, all I can get out of you is a distracted makeout session on a couch? Irony's not really my strong suit. <laughs> But I have been getting better with sarcasm, if you want to give that a try. Oh, sure, I'd love to. Whenever you're ready. She passed me the Manischewitz. I took one look at this punum and almost plotzed on the kugel. Is this what I sound like when I talk about India? So my mother's okay with this? Why would your mother have a problem with me and Stuart? Because they have a weird, inappropriate relationship. Weirder than what you and I did in my dad's Corolla? This is so messed up. I know, I'm having the best time. Why would you even come to this? Didn't you know I'd be here? It was a long time ago, Howard. And you're only second cousins, who cares? Wait, so you knew when you brought her anyway? Oh, so she's good enough for Howard, but not for me? Yeah. Yeah, go have weird relationships with your own mother and cousin. This is his turf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I, I, I just, I gotta ask. <laughs> what makes you think that your relationship is so wonderful and ours isn't? For starters, we enjoy spending time together. <laughs> so do we. And I've seen you guys ignore each other for hours doing totally different things. It's called parallel play. <laughs> yeah, toddlers do that. Not as well as we do. <laughs> you believe this guy has to be the best at everything? So what? Why do you even care? Oh, listen to them. Not even married and the honeymoon's over. <laughs> Whatever, you can't even go on a date without checking your relationship agreement. If you've got a problem basing a relationship on a contract, I'd like to tell you about 13 plucky colonies that entered a relationship agreement called the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> and it may not be cool to say so, but I think that love affair is still pretty hot today. It's a good thing I'm not wearing flag underwear right now because there's about to be a fire. <laughs> Oh, the girls really did a nice job. Oh, I know I wasn't into this before, but I'm so glad I get to take you to your first prom. What makes you think I didn't go to my prom? I went. Well, who'd you go with? I took a little lady I like to call loneliness. Aww. No, it's all right. We ended up having a threesome with her friend Humiliation. <laughs> well, if I would have been there and saw you alone, I would have asked you to dance. No, you wouldn't well, have. Well, you don't know that. It was before my growth spurt. What? That already happened? Uh, very funny. Well, you wouldn't have asked me either. I would have asked you. In my head. <laughs> On the way home. <laughs> while I was having a good cry. <laughs> I've invented a science joke. Could you like to hear it? Sure. How many Edisons does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Who cares? He stole the idea and doesn't deserve his own joke. Is that really true? Of course. That's how you know it's a good joke. It not only entertains, it informs. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, Barry, uh, how many Edisons does it take to screw in a light bulb? Did you know Edison didn't actually invent the light bulb? What do you want, Barry? 
Just wanted to drop this off as a widow. Thank you for Amy. Well, what's this for? Your idea really helped me out. My white cone quantization paper's online already. The response has been amazing. Well, that's fascinating. I can't wait to read it. Yo, no, me as well. Uh, please email it to Sheldon at bazinga.biz. <laughs> Why dot biz? Because I just gave you the business. <laughs> and also bazinga.com was taken. This is an easy one. You love this guy. Me. <laughs> Come on, he's an underappreciated genius. Still think it's me. <laughs> it's not you. Now think, there's a car named after him. Oh, of course there is. The Mini Cooper, because it's me. How about this? He's a poor man's Sheldon Cooper. Oh, Tesla. Hi. Hey, Hello. how'd it go? Uh, not fun. The doctor shoved a camera up into my sinuses. Yeah, I watched. It was like the scary boat tunnel in Willy Wonka. <laughs> Did they figure out what's wrong? Yeah, it's a deviated septum. The surgery to correct it is simple. He's gonna do it next week. Why would you have surgery? Because I can't breathe. When I snore, I get sinus infections. Now back off. He's all mine. <laughs> but you don't have a life-threatening condition. Why would you take the risk of surgery? Sheldon, it's a routine procedure. I've heard you complain about his snoring. Well, yes, for the first five or six years, but I've gotten used to it. It helps me sleep. He's like my mucus-powered white noise machine. So now I'm gonna get the surgery. It's no big deal. End of story. Very well. Now I'm done talking about it. Thank you. I believe it was your turn in the game. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, this person is most famous for never having gotten his nose mutilated with elective surgery and never living the rest of his life in the shadows as a hideous, disfigured freak. I think you could give a better clue. I don't. I'm not even sure if that's a person or a typo. Do you guys ever fight over money? Sure, sometimes. I mean, it could be a little awkward since I make so much more money than Howie. You didn't have to say so much more. Well, I didn't have to, but for the sake of accuracy, I felt that I should. I brought a lot of significant assets into the relationship, too. Like what? Your incomplete set of Star Trek collector plates? <laughs> your information, I just bought the last one I needed on eBay. Without asking me? There were only three minutes left in the auction, and it was a mint condition Scotty from a smoke-free home. How much, Howie? Not a lot. How much? Let's not talk about this in front of our friends. Was it more or less than falconry school? For the tenth time, that was a Groupon. Did you enjoy my lecture? No, and neither did our waiter. <laughs> Wait, if you're going to serve Cornish game hen, you should either be familiar with the history of Cornwall or be prepared to learn it. It's hard to argue with that. And I know, because I saw a sad man with a pepper mill desperately try and fail. <laughs> Good. I had Cornish game hen. Oh, that poor waiter. <laughs> Sheldon, how about tomorrow night we see a movie? You guys are going out two nights in a row? Yeah, well, I missed a number of date nights while I was on my train trip, and I'm contractually obligated to make them up under the terms of the relationship agreement. That's so hot. <laughs> it's better than hot, it's binding. If you're free tomorrow night, I'd love to have you join us on a double date. Aww. You are aware that a double date doesn't count as two dates. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, then come or don't, I don't care. They're not dating. They're just two friends who went out to dinner. And then went back to the home they share, where they probably fell asleep in the matching pajamas she got them because they both just love penguins. <laughs> Lots of people wear matching pajamas who aren't dating. Like who? Like you and your dog. <laughs> Don't rule out the dating. Fine. It bothers me. You happy? You think you've got problems. The gibbon is the only member of the ape family not classified as a great ape. <laughs> How is this helpful? 
All the non-human apes are classified as great apes except one. That means Taxonomous created the entire category of lesser ape just to single out the poor Gibbon as the weird kid on the playground. <laughs> now, there's a hairy little fellow with a genuine beef. But the Gibbon doesn't know what it's categorized as. It doesn't even know it's called a Gibbon. True. Sorry, kids, you got it worse than a Gibbon. <laughs> but I made a video. <laughs> I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, and I'd like to tell you why I should be chosen to go to Mars. Mars. <laughs> I'm exceedingly smart. I graduated college at 14. While my brother was getting an STD, I was getting a PhD. <laughs> Penicillin can't take this away. Being in close quarters, cleanliness is important. <laughs> My hygiene is impeccable. In fact, animals don't trust me because I smell like nothing. Yeah. Literally nothing. <laughs> During the seven-month space flight, I can keep up morale with my wacky sense of humor. <laughs> hey, Leonard, is there any peanut brittle left in that can? You mean this weirdly suspicious one? Yes. You open it and check. I don't get it. It was actually peanut brittle. <laughs> Please go to Mars. But on a more serious note, the most important reason I want to go to Mars is that I believe, as a scientist, it's my duty to push the boundaries of human knowledge forward. Now, I know that life on Mars will be difficult, but life here on Earth is no picnic. Also, picnics are no picnic. <laughs> Where should we go for lunch? Oh, I know, the ground. <laughs> In conclusion, thank you for considering me for this journey of a lifetime. To Mars! Mars! Ridiculous. You know, I'm gonna go talk to the maitre d'. What are you gonna say? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna flirt with him. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. I'm still sleeping with you tonight. See if you can get a table by the window. <laughs> Hi there. What's your name? Glenn. Oh, boy, it is crazy in here tonight, huh, Glenn? Well, you know, Valentine's Day. Yes, oh, I bet your girlfriend is super bummed you had to work tonight. Anyway, look, we have been waiting a while, and I just... With think... all due respect, ma'am, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> you don't have to call me ma'am. Okay. I mean, we're basically the same age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 21. How old are you? Just shut up, Glenn. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. What? Why? Because I'm young. Let's go. Seems we're at a uh, stalemate. Not technically. In chess, a stalemate refers to a situation in which there are no remaining moves. Uh, you have plenty of moves available. You could beat us up and steal the money. <laughs> you could kill us. <laughs> really, you're only limited by your imagination. All these years, I've been using stalemate when I really mean impasse. I feel foolish. I don't think it matters if this is a stalemate or an impasse or a Mexican standoff. What are we going to do here? Oh, how can it be a Mexican standoff? Everybody knows you need three sides for that. Not necessarily. You know, many argue that the essence of a Mexican standoff is that no one can walk away from the conflict without incurring harm. Hmm. I don't follow. <laughs> Let me give you an example. <laughs> Earlier today, I decoded the headers on your email, and I know that your name is Kenneth Fitzgerald. Now, from that, I figured out where you live and where you work. Now, to make this a Mexican standoff, I would say something like, uh, well, you give us the helium or I'll turn you into the authorities. Is that a threat? Yeah, exactly. See, you're getting it. What is this? I don't know. Maybe it says something on the back. Continued on milk. <laughs> You're tricking me into making my own breakfast. It didn't work for my mom, and it won't work for you. Are we 
are sea spoons for more. <laughs> what could it be? We are Groot. We are the champions. We are family. I got all my sisters with me. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Pretty positive. That's a joke because the pregnancy test says that I This is incredible. We're gonna be parents? We're gonna get to board planes first. <laughs> Finally gonna get to see what's in that family bathroom at the mall. <laughs> no, it's crazy. It is crazy. Oh, I mean, how do you prepare for something like this? I'm not even sure I've held a baby before. Oh, it's okay. You'll figure it out. But how's this all gonna work? Do we get a nanny? Can we afford a nanny? If we can, we can't get a pretty one because it'll wreck our marriage. <laughs> so we can't get an ugly one because it'll scare the kid. Are we in a good school district? Like, well, you're Catholic, I'm Jewish. What religion do we raise it? And if it's a boy, do we get him circumcised? People say it's barbaric, but if we don't, it looks like a pig in a blanket. Calm down, it's gonna be okay. How's it gonna be okay? Look at me, I'm a mess. That means this baby's gonna be half a mess. And that's even before we screw it up with our cut rate, moderately attractive nanny. <laughs> Oh, there's a woman. Uh, I'll make her my girlfriend. Whoa, whoa. Walking up to a strange woman in a bar usually doesn't work. Uh, you're forgetting something. Ladies love jocks. How many sips of that beer did you have? Three. Oh, boy. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm recovering from a recent breakup, and I'm told asking out another woman might make me feel better. And as Ash Ketchum said to Pikachu, I choose you. What? It's a Pokemon reference. I don't know what that means. Well, we gave it a shot. <laughs> How about you? I'm married, and I'm her grandmother. Ah, what might have been. And you... Give my regards to Barnum and Bailey. You're eating. That's a good sign. You're gonna have to wait one hour until you can go swimming again. He's pretty cute. He is. Should we name him? It's Valentine's Day. How about Valentino? Nice. A classic rabbit name. <laughs> Peter Rabbit, Roger Rabbit, Valentino Wallowitz Rabbit. <laughs> oh, look at all that chest hair. An overbite, of course you're a Wallowitz. <laughs> Son of a bitch, he bit me. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Wild rabbits can have rabies. Oh, well, why'd you put your finger near its mouth? Poor judgment, obviously. <laughs> He's so little, I'm sure it's fine. Well, how can it be fine? I just got attacked by a clearly anti-Semitic wild animal. <laughs> it says rabies and rabbits is highly unlikely. Oh, terrific. It's not terrific. Lots of highly unlikely things happen. You saw what's under this robe and you still married me. If you're really worried, we'll take him to the vet and have him tested. Good, thank you. Okay, there is a test. All they have to do is cut off his head and check his brain. Cut off his head? That's where his little nose is. He's not showing any symptoms. I guess I'll just go to the emergency room to be safe. Howie, this is just your hypochondria. When I sat on the mute button and thought I'd gone deaf, that was my hypochondria. There was a song I couldn't get out of my head. Eventually, I realized the song was about you. And like that earworm, I can't get you out of my heart. So... What I'm trying to say is, you're my heartworm. <laughs> the metaphorical kind, not, not the poodle-killing kind. What? If I may. <laughs> I, I believe what he's saying, in a charming and delightful way, is that he loves you and wants you back. Dave Gibbs, huge fan of your work. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were on a date. No, it, it, it's okay, keep going. Amy, if you wanna be my girlfriend again, I really wanna be your boyfriend. I really want that too. Good, because I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Kiss her, you brilliant fool. <laughs> Dear crazy future Sheldon, <laughs> this is a thermostat. It controls the temperature of the apartment. The ideal setting is 72 degrees. If you find this too cold, then put on a jacket, a straight jacket, because 72 is the best and you're crazy. <laughs> now, this is your spot. You're very protective of it. When anyone else tries to sit here, you berate them relentlessly. It sounds mean, but somehow you make it adorable. <laughs> People are also delighted by your love of pranks. For example, Leonard has no idea what I did to his coffee. <laughs> it wasn't replaced it with Folger's crystals, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> hey, can we please get back to work? This is Leonard. He's your best friend in the world. Just stop it. This is ridiculous. Sometimes he gets cranky. <laughs> but you can trust him with your life. And he does more things for you than I can even begin to list. Thank you. Oh, no, he's drinking it. <laughs> Come on, Leonard's doing bachelor stuff. You sure we can't take you to a strip club? Uh, if I want to see a naked dancing man, I just flush the toilet while Leonard's in the shower. <laughs> I know we're not making a fuss, but in the spirit of bachelorette parties, I made cookies in the shape of male genitals. <laughs> you really didn't have to. Whoa! <laughs> that is anatomic. Thank you. The veins are gummy worms. <laughs> oh, look. Jewish and Gentile. <laughs> I had extra dough. <laughs> oh, that's Leonard. He said they're about to cross the border. Oh, I hope the boys don't get too crazy in Mexico. Oh, yeah, right. Lock up your daughters or Sheldon might lecture them about the North American Free Trade Agreement. <laughs> Boy, that was a long night for me. What do you think? I think it's very cute. Cute? It's not cute. Cute as children dressed as vegetables. <laughs> It's not cute. Well, just be honest, you don't like it. I didn't say that. I, I just like music you can dance to. You can dance to this! Uh, 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 Thor and Dr. Jones, Thor and Dr. Jones. One plays with lightning, the other plays with bones. I'm telling you, dude, the song has no groove. You can't dance to it. I thought the whole point of Footprints on the Moon was to write songs that make people think. You can do both. Like, like Michael Jackson's Billie Jean, while you're dancing, you're thinking, like, darn it, whose baby is it? How many Spock collectibles? I have many. My most treasured is an autographed napkin given to me by my very thoughtful friend, Penny. That's her over there. Hi. <laughs> Look at that, I'm in a movie, my shirt stayed on. Can we see the napkin? Oh, of course, excuse me. This will just take a moment. <laughs> when did we get a wall safe? When there was no more room in the floor safe. When did we get a floor safe? When we got the security camera. There's a security camera? Aquaman, protecting your home since 2012. Oh my God, we've done things on that couch. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. Have you thought about advertising directly to females? Oh, okay. Well, all right. What if I put up a sign in the window that said, Women, come in. Don't be afraid. Hey, 
Hey, have you read the online reviews for this place? Yeah, the internet's so negative, I try to avoid it. All right, well, Heather H. says, the owner stared at me the whole time and didn't blink once. <laughs> says, the creepy guy who runs it asked me out, then called himself stupid before I could say no. <laughs> Jessica K says, I told the weird owner that I liked his shirt. He took it off and gave it to me. See? Negative. You actually think it's 2003? No. Just because I'm living my life like it was 12 years ago doesn't mean I'm delusional. And since it is 2003, I don't know who you are. So please exit the premises before I call the police on my stylish new flip phone. <laughs> Hello, 2003. Hey, we brought you time. <laughs> Where is everything? In my present, it's in the future. In your present, it's been crammed in the bedroom by an enterprising young man I met in the Home Depot parking lot. I know what you're doing. You're trying to get attention so we'll feel bad for you, but it's not happening. No, what I'm doing is trying to figure out how to live my life now that everyone is leaving me. Knock it off. We're across the hall. As the kids are saying today, talk to the hand. They're not saying that. They are in 2003. No, no, they're really not. <laughs> hey, Story! Uh. Hey. Sorry, did I startle you? Yes, but at this point, pretty much any customer does. <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh, I need a little help. I accidentally destroyed one of Howard's comic books this morning, and I was hoping I could replace it. Wow, what happened? Batman got his ass kicked by my curling iron. <laughs> Don't let the Riddler know that. It's a comic book joke. <laughs> or maybe it's not. Do you have this one? Uh, well, it's, it's pretty rare. Can you give me a few days to track it down? Uh, I was kind of hoping to get it before Howie comes home from work. Uh, what's the hurry? Well, he's always saying I should be more careful with my curling iron, and it seems like a dangerous precedent to let him think he can be right. <laughs> well, I'll do what I can, but I can't make any promises. You know, I do work at a pharmaceutical company. If you can make this happen today, I can hook you up with anxiety medication, antidepressants. Really? Do you have any of these? I just feel like everything is falling apart. Well, come on, it's OK. No, it's not OK. Look at me, OK? I took a temp job as a waitress forever ago, and I'm still doing it. I can't quit because guess what? I can't do anything else and I finally get my big break and it goes away. Such a mess. No, you're not. Oh, really? Because this morning at Starbucks, a pair of old underwear fell out of my pant leg. <laughs> and it wasn't the only one in there. Okay, listen to me. This is just a minor setback. No, it's not, okay? I've been out here for like 10 years. I have nothing to show for it. Well, you have me. Right. I do have you. <laughs> hmm. Let's get married. What? <clears throat> Leonard Hofstetter, will you marry me? Um. <laughs> Did you seriously just say, um? You know, I love you, but but you're you're drunk and sad and feeling lost. Okay, and... so, um, so you, you, you don't want to marry me? Well, that is not what I said. No, forget it. I take it back. Offer's off the table. Who's in the mood to laugh? I got an email from Professor Proton. Oh, goody, what's it say? He's working on a paper about nano vacuum tubes and wants to know if I'd take a look at it. That's strange. He would come to you for that and not me. Oh, I got two emails from him. Uh, do you have Leonard's email address? <laughs> and uh, never mind, I found it. I can't believe he picked you over me. 
don't want to read a paper by some old has-been who hasn't done any real science in decades. Yeah, it's nothing to cry about. Yeah, Sheldon Cooper does not cry. It's true. You'd rust. <laughs> <laughs> when Obi-Wan came to Luke on this very spot, he gave him all sorts of helpful advice. So, um, what do you got for me? <laughs> Always get get a prenup. That's it? I thought there'd be more of a reason why you're here. Well, why, why do you think I'm here? I suppose it has something to do with your recent passing. Is, is this the, the first time you've lost, you know, someone close to you? Oh, no. No, um, I've already had to say goodbye to 11 Doctor Who's. Yeah, I've, I've outlived a few of my doctors, too. Oh, hey, Sheldon. Hello. You okay? I'm on vacation. What do you think? Why are you sitting in the stairwell? Leonard told me to stay. Oh. Well, good boy. Where are you going? Oh, a ton of errands to run. I need to make copies of my headshot, send them off to agents, and uh, sign up for a new acting class. And... Mm. Have fun. OK. Mm. <laughs> you want to come with me? Really? Come on, boy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. So, what did you think of your first funeral? Oh, I don't want to be a jerk, but it was kind of a bummer. Yeah, well, when I die, you can rent a bounce house. You think about dying? Mm. No, I think more about if I have any regrets. What would you regret? Mm, you know, that I didn't travel more, take more risks, learn another language. You know Klingon. That's true. No, I meant that as a regret. <laughs> Just thought of one more. What's up? I regret not saying yes when you asked me to marry you. Well, it just wasn't the right time. Yeah. And this is also not the right time. Do not propose. <laughs> what? I know that face. That's your proposed face. <laughs> I was not gonna propose. It's already two to one. What's two to one? I proposed twice. You proposed once, two to one. Oh my, it's not a contest. I don't know what you're upset about. I'm the one who's losing. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Would you feel better if I proposed so you could turn me down again? Yeah, I think I would. <sighs> okay, Leonard, will you marry me? Hmm. No, don't you dare. You reject me right now and tie things up. It's just such a big decision. I don't want to have any regrets. And hold three, two, one. Very good. Now let's try warrior two. And hold. I've read that there are great yogis who have such mastery over their bodies, they can draw water in through their genitals. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think we're gonna get to do that today. <laughs> Too bad. Seems like a good way to drink a milkshake without getting brain freeze. <laughs> oh, hey. Now we go to reverse warrior. How did she get you to do yoga? Well, to be honest, I thought she said Yoda. Wait, it's not all pants. There's one shirt. Oh. Hey, that's my shirt. This one is too. No, no, that's not mine. That's a big spot on it. Oh, wait, so does this one. Maybe the spot's the clue. <laughs> Sheldon spot. The coin's in your spot! Oh, that's clever. Hurry! 
Be there in a minute. I just have to pre-soak these. <laughs> Answer Sheldon Spot? Oh, yes, Leonard. Yes, it was. But where's the coin? Yes, exactly. Where is the coin? Why don't you look in your pockets? I slipped them in there earlier today. I don't get it. Don't you see? When we're all having fun together, we're already winners. Oh, well, look, see? Even I'm a winner. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you suck. So hot. Water would be great. OK. Um, you're Lucy, right? I'm a friend of Raj Kutherpali's. Actually, Amy recognized you. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, you know, he's good. Great. Yeah, this is none of my business, but why did you break up with him in an email? Oh, I don't know. I guess I thought it would be easier. Yeah, I get that. I'll go get you your water. When you say easier, <laughs> you mean easier for you, right? Because certainly didn't make it easier for him. Any chance I can get a different waitress? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is rude of me. I will get you that water. See, 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 see. Just now, you expressed your feelings to my face. How come you could do that with me, but not with Raj? I don't know your email. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? You're sitting here perfectly happy, and he's at home, a blubbering mess. Well, I thought you said he was OK. Well, I also said I was getting you water. What? look at me, still standing here. <laughs> you know, I may be a bad waitress, but you are a bad person. Now. You want to hear the specials? <laughs> Arthur passing away was harder on Sheldon than he's ready to admit. Really hoping this will cheer him up. Me too. Although it might have been thoughtless of us to bake a Death Star cake. <laughs> no, it combines two of Sheldon's favorite things, chocolate chips and the ability to destroy a planet at the push of a button. <laughs> well, anyway, it'll be a nice surprise for the boys. And Howie doesn't think I take his interest seriously, so hopefully this will keep him fooled for a while. OK, let's get the fondant and start decorating. This is pretty cool. You don't see too many spherical cakes. I wonder why that is. <laughs> hey, guys. Happy Star Wars Day. <laughs> wow, a Death Star cake. We were hoping it might cheer you up. And even though it meant we had to miss the movies, we could still be part of the fun. No, you didn't miss anything. We just started over. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hi. Hey, guys. Hello. Look who's here to put the Jew in jewelry night. <laughs> oh, sure, so it's fine when you say it. <laughs> Sorry, we're late. I wanted to swing by the lab and pick up some even cooler tools for us to use. I didn't know you were coming again. Well, last week was a blast. Plus, I thought you might like having a guy here. <laughs> it was not funny. So what tools did you bring? Everything we need to make jewelry molds. Here's some silver, a crucible, and an acetylene torch to melt it down. Ooh, that looks like fun. Maybe you should master glue before you move on to fire. OK, who's up first? Rajesh, do you want to make a bracelet for your mom to go with the necklace? No, thanks. Mm. I was going to make a necklace for my mom, but unfortunately, she doesn't have a neck. <laughs> She's just chins and fat and feet. <laughs> Leonard, do you think I'm funny? No. <laughs> do you? I think I'm hysterical. <laughs> I take it back. That was funny. <laughs> The philosopher Henri Bergson says, it's funny when a human being behaves like an object. I bet that bit killed in the chuckle hut. 
Oh, he didn't perform stand-up comedy. He was a philosopher. No, I think we're zeroing in on your problem. Perhaps I'll spend some time developing a unified theory of comedy, which will allow me to elicit laughter from anyone at any time. Unless they're German, because that's a tough crowd. Are you set on people laughing with you? Because if you're cool with at you... You guys ever noticed that Emily has a bit of a twisted side? You mean because she has weird tattoos? No, because she wants to have sex with me in a graveyard. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> she and I were supposed to watch the new Avengers movie tonight, but it was sold out. So I said, what else do you want to do? She said, let's go to a cemetery and do it on somebody's grave. Like a random person or somebody she knew? What difference does it make? Well, if it's her father's grave and they didn't get along, then you know she holds a grudge. The only issue is that everybody has their own thing, and as long as it's two consenting adults, I guess I don't see the harm in it. Well, what if it's one consenting adult and one adult who pretends to consent because he's afraid of being alone? It's a beautiful night. Oh, yes. You've got the moon and the trees and Elizabeth McNulty, who apparently died when she was the same age I am. Makes you feel alive, doesn't it? So does enjoying a meal at a well-lit restaurant, but here we are. You aren't scared, are you? Of ghosts? No. Of you, a little bit. This is interesting. Apparently, a key component in some forms of humor is the element of surprise. Well, that makes sense. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for planning and anticipation, and patients with brain lesions... Brain lesions! <laughs> Sheldon, you scared me. That wasn't funny. Maybe you have a stick up your prefrontal cortex. <laughs> okay. The notion that you can read a few books and come up with a definitive theory of comedy is absurd. I mean, Humor is a complex neurological... <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Can he really quit the Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. What is she doing today? I don't know. She already thinks I don't support this, so if I call, it might look like I'm checking up on her. Well, do you support this? Of course I do. She's a great actress. I'm proud she's taking this risk. That's nice. You bought that? Great. <laughs> Got a collar before I forget how I said it. <laughs> hey. Hi, what's up? Oh, how's it going? You taking Hollywood by storm? Actually, I'm at the Cheesecake Factory. You got your job back. That is great news. I, mean, I didn't want to say anything, but you are making the right choice. But to plunge yourself into debt right now would be literally insane. Yeah, I'm just returning my uniform. <laughs> and I support you. <laughs> You've come to me because. You're my Obi-Wan. I'm, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. Is, is, is that an, an internet? Wow. Uh, you're dead, so I'm gonna let that slide. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi is a character from Star Wars. After his physical demise, he comes to Luke Skywalker as his mentor in spirit form. Well, that, that clears that up. You must be here to give me advice. <laughs> oh, this, this is weird. Most, most of my robes open in, in the back. <laughs> Those are your Jedi robes. Oh, wait, what? What, what, what is this? Oh, be careful with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, neat, oh. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to need a Band-Aid. 
the yelling? Yeah, Leonard disproved my element. Now all the attention is going to go away. Oh, that's great. You must be thrilled. Oh, that's it. I'm down to seven friends. <laughs> He's counting hobbits and superheroes, right? When I thought the element was real, I didn't want it. But now that Leonard made it not exist, I want it more than anything in the world. The, the, the element never existed. I didn't take it away. Science took it away. Be mad at science. Yeah, don't you dare use science against me. <laughs> yeah, science is my best friend. Oh, good, I'm back up to eight. Will you tell him he's out of his mind? Actually, I get what he's saying. <gasps> yes, nine! Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> dating someone you're not that into and then they break up with you and then you want them more than ever. Yeah, I have no idea what she's talking about, but we're ganging up on you, so I agree. Okay, Sheldon, what do you want me to do? Uh, hide the information? If I don't publish it, it's just a matter of time before someone else does. But no, no, of course you have to publish. That's your responsibility as a scientist. Doing otherwise would be unethical. You have no choice. Fine, I'll publish. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> this is fun. I'm gonna feel like such a vixen wearing jewelry that doesn't have a list of medications I'm allergic to. Benny, how's it going over there? Good, I'm just having a little trouble with the glue. How do you not know how to use glue? Did you ditch preschool? Yeah, only because I was dating a second grader. Hello, everyone. Okay, let me have it. Let's hear all the Raj is a girl jokes. No, Bernadette told me it isn't nice and I'm not allowed. Thank you. So I won't be making fun of you or the things you like or the fact that you just want to have fun. Howie, stop. Come on, look at what I'm making. Hmm, it's actually pretty nice. I'm making a bracelet. Yeah, I'm just making a mess. <laughs> You know, instead of beads and glue, you guys can use my soldering iron. You'd be able to make much cooler stuff. Well, I think we're doing just fine, thank you. Actually, I'd kind of like to try that. Me too. I'll be right back. When did I have pistachios? <laughs> Isn't that Professor Proton? Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's standing in line like he wasn't moderately famous 30 years ago. <laughs> Let's go say hello. Oh, maybe we shouldn't bother him. I'm not going to bother him. I'm going to talk to him. He thinks there's a difference. Arthur. Arthur, it's me, Sheldon Cooper. But you may not remember because of your advanced age. Trust me, I, I remember. <laughs> Oh, but this is my girlfriend, Amy. Uh, Amy, this is television legend Arthur Jeffries. His science show inspired millions of children. Hold, hold, hold on. You, you have a girlfriend. <laughs> yes, and I've heard so much about you. Hey, look, we're wearing the same orthopedic shoes. <laughs> Can't believe I dress like a celebrity. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> Dr. Jeffries, hello again, Leonard Hofstetter. Oh, oh, right. I, I remember your your girlfriend. <laughs> is is she is she here? No, she's she's not. So what prescription are you getting filled? A Sheldon. You yeah, no wait, I want to guess. Don't tell me. I, I wasn't going to tell you. <laughs> Sheldon, come on. No, 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 I'm really good at this. All right, give me a hint. Does it involve difficulty initiating a stream of anything? <laughs> Well, given my age, that's more than just a lucky guess. Hey, Sheldon, let's go mock the people buying homeopathic medicine. You love that. But I'm hanging out with my friend, and we're having fun. Yeah, look how happy he is. Parsa doesn't have those kind of resources. No, and that's why he had Aaron Pace rewire. So proud of you. I haven't even gotten to my scene yet. I know, but you're gonna be a TV star and you haven't left me yet. That takes guts. I don't know about you, but I'm very uncomfortable with all this. Why? I've never seen this show before. And now I'm starting with episode 246? <laughs> it's unnatural. Just think of the first 245 as the prequel. All right. Okay, shh, guys, guys, this is it. I guess it's you and me, kid. What are you doing? I'm trying to make peace. We're good? Good. Are you kidding me? 
What's wrong? Well, the diner scene. Where's my diner scene? Look, don't ask me until I see the prequel. I'm lost. <laughs> no, there's supposed to be a big scene with me and Mark Harmon, but it, it's gone. What happened? They must have cut it. Oh, Penny. I'm, I'm sorry. That stinks. Sure you agreed? This doesn't make any sense to me. I, I, th I thought I did a really good job. I Excuse me. I've been studying how to make people laugh. <laughs> they say that comedy is tragedy plus time. Let's tickle some ribs. I think if we want to predict the height of the wave, we need to use elasticity theory and model the lattice as one continuous flexible piece. This is fun. Mm -hmm. Playing with popsicle sticks, exploring ways to store kinetic energy. It's like preschool all over again. <laughs> Except now if I eat paste, it's because I want to, not because Craig Schultz is making me. Hey, can I ask you a question? Is it where was the teacher? She was in the bathroom smoking, that's where. It wasn't, but I'm glad to see you've moved on. I, I was gonna ask if being married felt any different. Oh. Oh, uh, not really. Sorry, that probably wasn't the answer you were looking for. No, actually it is. I mean, Sheldon and I are in a really great place right now, and I just, I don't want anything to mess that up. Mm -hmm. You do remember you're here because he kicked you out of your apartment. <laughs> yes. His work is important to him. It's one of the things I find the sexiest about him. Well, that uh, and... Uh, His butt. Oh. Can you get us a little snack? Are you sure you don't want your spy to do it? What are you talking about? You really don't trust me? You had to have Amy stop by? I trust you. Yeah, you were a terrible waitress, and we still asked you to get us a snack. <laughs> Excuse me while I go take care of your baby, then I'll bring you your snack, and you can insult me some more. I don't know about you, but I am not eating whatever she brings us. <laughs> never really liked me. It's kind of nice she hates you now, too. Uh, but I'm here for you, and I would never let anything happen to you because your Auntie Penny loves you so much. Mama. <laughs> Was that her first word? Drama. <laughs> there was something I wanted to do, but I was worried other people would think less of me. Is that other person me, and does it happen in the bedroom, in which case I think I'm cool with it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's about working with Bert on, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. I am just gonna say the letter it starts with, and ology. G, oh no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Geology? Yes, but we parted ways because I was worried about my reputation. Sheldon, you've never cared what people thought, even when you really, really should. Are you doing okay? No, I'm very nervous. Gift shop. There is no gift shop. Sit down. This was your idea. So was having sex, and look where that got us. This isn't a big deal. Stop whining. When you were in labor and I said that, you kicked me. Howard Wallowitz. Want me to go with you? No, I'll be fine. Yeah, we got this. Sit down. <laughs> Wish me luck. 
Either way, Buster. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a bit awkward. It says here that I need to check the area for redness and swelling. You know what? It hurts so much. Go ahead. They're going to start making Professor Proton's science show again. I thought he passed away. He did. He was cremated and his remains were put in a baking soda volcano. <laughs> Don't make jokes. He meant a lot to Sheldon. Mm, me too. I grew up watching his show. He's one of the reasons I became a scientist. Oh, I thought you did it just to get girls. <laughs> Joke's on you. It worked. <laughs> Have they found anyone to replace him? No, not yet. And it won't be easy. Arthur Jeffries was an accomplished scientist. Mm. You know who'd make a great Professor Proton? Meryl Streep. <laughs> She's not a scientist. Uh, then explain to me why she has chemistry with literally everyone. It would be nice if they cast a woman. Oh, God, you've already got Doctor Who and the Ghostbusters. Leave us something. <laughs> Well, this party's a disaster. Don't blame the party. You know how many favors I had to call in with my bounce house guy to get Wonder Woman? <laughs> Is that Wonder Woman? <laughs> Technically, it's a Chinese knockoff called Happy Strong Swimsuit Lady. <laughs> then I take it back. It's a great party. <laughs> no, you can sit here and sulk if you want. I'm gonna go celebrate Hallie's first birthday, which I planned with no help from you. What are you doing? It's a bounce house. I'm gonna go bounce in it. You're supposed to take your shoes off before you go in there. You know what? I'm stressed about my daughter's birthday party. I don't need your attitude. Well, I worked really hard on this, and you haven't even said thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for blaming me for everything that's wrong in your life. Thank you for walking out on our friendship. Uh, you are welcome. And thank you for mocking me for all of these years. Thank you for making it so easy. <laughs> Why are you being such a jerk? Because you're my best friend and you hurt my feelings. Well, you're my best friend. You hurt my feelings. <gasps> I can't believe you shot me. I can't believe you shoved me! But it was kind of fun, wasn't it? It was! Do it again! Gladly! <laughs> okay, now at the same time! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Yeah. Okay, this time knees, then feet. One, two, three. Sorry if it's weird. Sheldon made me best man instead of you. It's okay. I was best man for two whole days. <laughs> no one can take that away from me. Except for Sheldon when he did. <laughs> Although, if you want to be a part of the wedding party, I suppose you could be the flower girl. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought Hallie was going to be the flower girl. Oh, that's much better. Sorry, Stuart, you're out. Hey, so is Bernadette OK with me being maid of honor? Actually, I haven't had the courage to tell her. I guess I should do that. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Although, as maid of honor, your job is to make my life easier. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, hey, Stuart, you still want in on this wedding? Mm, not that much. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. But do me a favor and unlock the liquor cabinet first. <laughs> Scratch paper, check. Whiteboard, check. Checks mix, check. <laughs> and here we go. Mm. Oh, dang it. Hello, Mother. Hi there, Shelly. You will never believe who I ran into at the barbecue festival. I am right in the middle of some very important work. I don't have time for this right now. Then why did you answer the phone? Because you raised me to be polite. Now stop bothering me. <laughs>
hello again. Who did you see at the barbecue festival? Mr. Watkins. You, really? You called me and interrupted my work to tell me that you ran into somebody you could plausibly run into? I, sorry, Mother, I really need to focus here. I will speak to you next week. Okay, sweetheart, I'll talk to you then. I thought Mr. Watkins moved to Florida. He did. He was back visiting his son. Oh, gosh, darn it, that is interesting. <laughs> was it Tommy or Joe? I bet it was Joe, because he and Tommy had a falling out over that timeshare. OK, I, I, I'm really uncomfortable with him back in that room. Why? He hasn't made a peep all day. You, you don't get it. All the years that we lived together, he drove me crazy the whole time. And now he's not. Exactly. <laughs> don't look at me like that. It, it, it means he did it on purpose. It was a choice. That, that, that's like finding out Godzilla could have had Arby's instead of Tokyo. I don't think they have Arby's in Japan. Not my point. <laughs> Sheldon! Sheldon! I'm sorry, am I being too loud? No, you're being perfect and you know it. Would you like me to be a less considerate tenant? No, yes, what? Stop messing with me! Hey, I was wrong. There's an Arby's in Okinawa. <laughs> Marissa, how did you guys meet? Oh, it's a pretty funny story. We met in a bookstore. That is funny. Yeah, I was just there using the bathroom, but this one had a stack of books like this tall. Oh, uh, well, I see you really like to read. Oh, no, I work there. Yeah, she is super smart. Seriously, you name, like, any book, she'll tell you if she's heard of it. Go on, try her. Oh, uh, uh, Catch her on the Rye. Nope. <laughs> Look at that, Penny. I guess we both like nerds. So, uh, I'm gonna take this thing out? Nah, it's a little choppy tonight. No, yeah, that's okay. This is nice sitting under the stars. It's actually kind of peaceful. Well, it's a beautiful boat. Thanks, man. We love it. Although he's so tall, he bangs his head almost every time he goes downstairs. After the first couple, you don't even feel it. <laughs> Where are our manners? Zach, let's get our guests something to drink. You got it, babe. I can't believe that guy's rich. Ooh, watch your head. That was a close one. Are you jealous? Oh, I know, I know. I shouldn't be. He's super sweet. I should be happy for that. Oh, it's driving me crazy, too. Really? Yes, uh, I was trying to pretend like it wasn't so you wouldn't think I was petty. <laughs> We're both petty. I love you so much. Oh, it's freezing out here. Do you like me to heat things up? No, I want to get in the hot tub before I lose a toe. Oh, that is bright. Yeah, a new neighbor put in floodlights. <laughs> so, shall we? No, I don't want to take my robe off under a spotlight. This is a candle body. Howdy, neighbors. But we haven't met yet. I'm Andy. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. You know, your new balcony kind of looks right over our fence. You might want to put up some trees. We can see everything. You can, but it's okay if you don't. So, can you turn your lights off? Sorry, they're motion censored. They'll go off in a minute. Just try to stay still. What are we going to do about this? I say we wait until his lights go off, and then I make hot, motionless love to you. <laughs> Don't move, it's go time. Hello, I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper. And I'm Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler. And this is Dr. Sheldon Cooper and Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler present Dr. Dr. Sheldon, Sheldon Cooper's, Cooper's Fun, Fun with, with Flags. flags. I'd like to start this episode by apologizing on behalf of Dr. Fowler, who made the wild claim last week that there was no national tricolored flag with a purple stripe, when in fact the Estonian governorate inside the Russian Empire had a purple stripe on their flag from 1721 to 1917. <laughs> See? Right there in the middle.
And I'd like to apologize on behalf of Dr. Cooper for having his zipper down for the entire segment on the flags of East Africa. Sorry, Tanzania, you deserve better. Okay, uh, that's my dad. Now remember, do not bring up any baby stuff, right? Not me not wanting one, not you having one with Zach. Got it. And if he brings it up, change the subject to literally anything else. I got it. But not the Cornhuskers. Do not discuss the Cornhuskers. Is that a sports team? <laughs> Never mind, you're good. Leonard. Hi. Oh. Hey, Wyatt. Leonard. Hey. It's a hell of a handshake. Oh, well, you know, I've been taking vitamins. Dad, uh, come on in, sit down. Can I get you something to drink? Maybe a beer? Sure, if you're having one. Why wouldn't you, since you're not pregnant? Um, Leonard wants to have a baby with my ex-boyfriend, Zach. How about those corn huskers? <laughs> Amy is the one constant I can count on, and now she's changing. It's just a haircut and some clothes. No, it's the last straw. I can't take any more. <laughs> can you believe it? They finally fixed the elevator. <laughs> this is a nightmare. What's with him? He won a Nobel Prize and his wife looks amazing. Oh, yeah, got it. <laughs> How did you get down here? The elevator, it's really fast. <laughs> I, I need to be alone right now. Don't try to follow me. All right, you need a ride? That'd be great, Please. thank you. Where's Raj? Uh, he's working with Bert. They're probably cutting their stupid meteorite open with their stupid diamond saw. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little run down. It might be a head cold. <laughs> Purell. 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 <laughs> Can I top anybody off? Why don't you go to bed? I'll run out and get you some medicine. Oh, it's okay. Stuart gave me someone I was at the comic book store. Really? You're taking medicine from Stuart? Doesn't he need, like, all of it? Mm, he's got plenty. His pill caddy is, like, this big. All right, well, why don't you go to bed? I'll sleep out here on the couch. No, no, no. You take the bed. I'll stay out here. Even better. Sweet dreams, not bag. <laughs> Go away, Raj! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm winning you back, love, actually, style. I don't know what that means. Really? You've never seen love, actually? If you want to watch it right now, I I'll just wait. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. Look, we both made mistakes. I am so sorry that I spied on you. I, I didn't mean to, but I know it's not okay. Now, do you want to apologize to me? You also said you don't trust me and that you barely know me. I really thought this would be more of a back and forth thing. <laughs>
Amy. Yeah. There's something out here. Just trap it under a cup and I'll be there in a minute. I'll try, but it's Leonard. Buddy, I, I know it all feels overwhelming right now, but I promise you, things will settle down. There's no Earl Grey, you filthy liar! <laughs> hey, is Penny here? No, why? I wanted to show her my latest creation. I give you... Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler. Wow, Amy, you look amazing. Thank you. Sheldon, what do you think? I like you better the way you were. But she looks beautiful. Classic lines, colors that complement her skin tone, and hair that goes from office to on the town in minutes. <laughs> I don't care, put it back. I like the way I look. Well, I don't. My fault, I was out of Earl Grey. <clears throat> Come to a giant metal door. I check the door for traps. There are no traps. I use my wizard eye to see what's on the other side of the door. Hey, that's sort of like how you used a doorbell camera to spy on your fiance. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. Your wizard eye reveals a monster. Is it alone and unloved? I guess. I open the door and say, hey, Raj. <laughs> Why don't you just call her? I'm sure you guys can work this out. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just play. OK, the Cyclops tells you that the enchantress you seek is staying at the Inn of the Dwarven Lords. I, really? An inn? Anu is a concierge at a hotel. That's a little insensitive, don't you think? <laughs> I hadn't noticed that before you mentioned it. Well, now that I've mentioned it, how do you feel? Bad. Shame on you. Zach wanted you to donate your genetic material for his baby. Yeah, so I'd be helping out a couple who really want a baby and they were gonna pay us and Penny freaked out about it. It doesn't make any sense. No. They wanted you? <laughs> yes, Sheldon, they wanted me. I'm smart, I'm nice. I'm smart, I'm nice. And I can eat cheese without clearing out a room. <laughs> Are you upset he didn't ask you? I, of course not. I just think it's interesting that of all the people he knows, he thinks you're the best choice. Well, he does. I don't see why Penny is so against this. Or perhaps Penny's worried that you haven't considered the emotional toll of knowing there's a child out there who is biologically yours, but not actually yours. Oh, well, that's really insightful. Yeah, and I'm taller than you, and I don't have asthma. Those people are crazy. <laughs> Can't believe they're gonna cut that with this Punk-ass diamond saw. <laughs> Leonard, what are you doing? Showing you that this is the better way. Stop! Whatever's inside there is dangerous. And pretty. <laughs> what is that? Ah! Are you okay? Ah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just feeling a little. <laughs> Hungry. No! Ah! Stop eating, Bart! <laughs> Keep eating, Bart! <laughs> Leonard, Leonard! What, what? You're having a bad dream. Oh, thank God. I was eating my friends. Well, one friend and one acquaintance. That, you know what, Bert's okay, two friends. <laughs> Let me see if you're running a fever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're burning up. <laughs> ah! Ah! Jeez, are you okay? Well, uh, it depends, what, 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 what color are my eyes? I don't know, brown? No, green. No, wait, brown. Oh, good, I'm awake. Oh, good, you're here. Are you still fighting? If you get divorced, do I get two Christmases? We're not getting divorced. Listen, we realized that uh, we're facing some new challenges as a married couple. Yeah, and there are a few things we need to stay on top of, so we thought it would be useful. 
I can't believe I am about to say this. Um, Would you please help us make a relationship agreement? <laughs> but one that's tailored to us, okay? We don't need a bathroom schedule. Although a rule about him texting me from in there might help with the romance. <laughs> what do you say? I get to write a contract? I say, let's get this party of the first part started. <laughs> Funny. It's in our agreement. I have to laugh. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Was it yours when you were little? My dad built it for me. Wow, it's so cute. This was the husband. This was the wife. They'd go out on adventures together. Cruises, skiing, horseback riding. That was really me just duct taping them to our dog. <laughs> <laughs> and did they have kids? They did. But the mommy and daddy didn't like them, so they shipped them off to an orphanage I made out of a shoebox. <laughs> Yeah, that's not worrisome at all. Not every girl dreams about being a mom. Sometimes you think you're never gonna have kids, and one day you wake up and you're pregnant. And it doesn't matter that your career's going great right now and that you and your husband never even got to go anywhere and take to a dog. I skip spin class for this. It's gonna be a while. Well, first deliveries can be slow. I'm starting to rethink the flash onesie I bought this kid. <laughs> I found it, but it's empty. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not going to the hospital now. Oh, are you sure? I'd really like to. <laughs> well, should we uh, head back up? Well, come on, guys. We're all awake. Why don't we go to a diner or something? Oh, uh, I don't know. Sheldon, you don't want to do that, do you? <laughs> it doesn't matter what I want. It's your birthday. You decide. Oh, my god. It's your birthday. Well, let's do something fun. Uh, oh, we go to a bar? Well. Okay, I can breathe again. Babe, they want to have sex. Oh, of course. The annual birthday booty spectacular. That's a bit childish, isn't it? No, I'm sorry, and what flavor is your bubblegum cigar? Great. I find it the most mild. All right, well, you two go have fun. If we find my backup inhaler, maybe we can get frisky. Oh, you sexy, wheezy little man. Would you look at that? The image we gave it was 45% white noise, and it still managed to reconstruct it. I've never seen results like this before. No, we need to stop for magnets on the way home. This is going right on the fridge. Aren't you glad you participated in this? Oh, I am. And you realize what the next step is. <sighs> Set up a second culture and try to replicate our results. Uh, no. We lock that door, lower our underpants a little, and make a baby. Make a baby? What are you talking about? Clearly, the combination of our DNA is exceptional. Our child could be the next step in the evolution of mankind. We'll be able to get in any preschool we want. <laughs> Sheldon, I'm not ready to have a baby. Oh, yes, you are. I track your cycle. <laughs> For the next 36 hours, you're as fertile as a manure-covered wheat field. <laughs> wow, I, I can actually feel the egg crawling its way back up. <laughs> Hello? I'm looking for Howard Wolowitz. Howard Wolowitz? I have the right address, don't I? Address? Is he here? Um, uh, no. Do you know where I can find him? May I ask what this is about? No, you may not. Oh. Very well. Have him call me. OK. Raj, who's at the door? <laughs> That's not him. <laughs> I wonder if this is what it feels like to be Bernadette's baby. I don't know, Bernadette's baby doesn't have a jacuzzi jet hitting just the right spot. Those jets are from my secret spot, not his. What are you doing here? It's called relaxing, and that's all you need to know. Well, it's getting late. Maybe we should head home. Yeah, probably right. You 
coming? Yeah, just give me a minute. Why? Well, you know how you're wearing a bathing suit? Yeah? I kind of went the other way. You jackasses just buy yourself a hot tub! You made God sad today, Mom. Sheldon, they haven't done anything wrong. I think it's nice they're hitting it off. Well, that's no reason to rush into anything. I mean, look at us. We took things remarkably slow. You and I, we didn't even hold hands for two years. It's a lot hotter than it sounds. You're a patient young lady. Hey, hey she's mine. Take a cold shower, Grandpa. There's a lot of traffic. Are we going to be OK? You'll be at the airport an hour before your flight. Good, thank you. Plenty of time for you to meet another geriatric boy toy. Hey, I will not have you be disrespectful to me. Yes, ma'am. Sheldon, your mother's an attractive woman. You need to get used to the fact that men are going to be interested in her. And you need to drive the car and mind your business. I will not have you be disrespectful to me. Well, you're not my mother. Don't you be disrespectful to her. Yes, ma'am. You'll get there. You just got to put some zing on it. I'll make you a deal. 30 years from now, if you're still single and things don't work out with me and Bernadette, you and I can give it a go. I appreciate the offer, but if things don't work out with you two, I'm swooping in on her like a vulture. Too late, Stuart called dibs. But theoretically, if you and I were in a gay relationship, how would we tell people? Like, print up announcements? <laughs> I don't know. What difference does it make? Well, I want to make sure we get invited to all the parades. <laughs> Those do look fun. Yeah. Well, if you want to march in a fishnet crop top, you better lay off that dip. <laughs> you didn't want me to eat it. Why'd you put it out? It was for the girls. They broke up with me. I don't care if they get fat. <laughs> I'm not going to get fat. Oh, you want to bet? You never exercise. Fine. Look, I'll exercise right now. One. <laughs> These are crunches, by the way. Very mature. Keep eating like that. You're gonna have a heart attack. Okay. How about if I eat like this? Mm. <laughs> You're such a child. Hey, is that any way to talk to your future husband? Hey, I was being hypothetical, okay? I would never marry you. Oh, please, when you see the ring I pick out, you're gonna melt. Uh, yeah, right. What, is it rose gold? Actually, don't tell me. I wanna be surprised. <laughs> what if living together kills the romance? <laughs> Okay, you guys had sex one whole time. Nothing can put out a fire like that. Yeah, but what happens when we each get a peek behind the curtain? I mean, she, she's never even seen me unshaven. You just shaved yesterday. You're good for three months. Sheldon, I understand your apprehension, but let me appeal to the scientist in you. Given the five-week end date, isn't it the perfect opportunity to consider this an experiment and collect data on our compatibility? Don't try luring me in with sexy talk. <laughs> okay, Star Trek, the original series. The Enterprise was on a five-year mission to explore new worlds. Think of this as your personal five-week mission to do the same. Now, if you want to lure me in with sexy talk, that's how you do it. <laughs> Don't be proud of that. Welcome. <laughs> what is this? Oh, well, you said you didn't have time to go out for dinner, so I thought we could have one right here. Oh, Rajesh. Oh, come on. We're in the telescope room. It'll be like dining under the stars. You see this uh, double zero? When it says zero one, that means it's twinkling. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while. <laughs> Rajesh, this is so sweet, but you you know I'm working. That's why I already cleaned up in here and all the other rooms in the hall. Well, I suppose that gives me a little time. Oh, please sit. <laughs> I tried to cook you a meal from your homeland. Oh, really? You made Cuban food? That depends. Do they have Mexican food in Cuba? <laughs> We'll get the crib out and you can take it for a test drive. I'm telling you, this man yeah. is gonna be the... Yeah! Oh, oh is it your back? Oh, yeah. Oh. Anyway, let's just get in and see if the 
GPS can take us to the nearest emergency room. <laughs> Uh, what was I thinking? Wallowitzes are not a lifting people. We tip the lifting people. <sighs> Do we really have to sit for hours in the emergency room? They're just gonna give you ice and Advil like last time. <laughs> You're gonna feel terrible when I'm in a wheelchair. <sighs> Which, by the way, would fit easily in the back of this award-winning minivan. <sighs> Fine, we'll go to the ER. Just stop selling me on the van. You're right. It sells itself. <laughs> you have to admit, it's a pretty smooth ride. I was hoping it'd be quieter. <sighs> if childbirth is half this bad, you are so screwed! Hello? Hey, uh, so we've been talking, and if you need a place to stay, we'd be happy to fix up the garage for you. That would be amazing! I was literally just looking at my moving boxes, trying to pick one to live in. Yeah, I know it's not ideal, but you'd have plenty of space for your furniture. And there's this cool button that makes an entire wall go up and down. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough. It is our pleasure. Hey, hey can you hold on one sec? Hello? Hey, buddy, are you still looking for a place to live? Uh, yeah, why do you ask? You know, we have the extra bedroom, and if you need it, it's yours. Oh my god, that's so generous. It's the least we can do. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, can you hold on one second? <laughs> hey, so Howard, what's the bathroom situation gonna be? <laughs> well, there's a sink out there that takes care of half your problems. <laughs> but I can use the downstairs bathroom, right? Yeah, we barely use it, so it'll be like it's yours. Cool. Cool, yeah, uh, yeah, hold on one second. Well, I... <laughs> hey, what's it like sharing a bathroom with Penny? Is there hair everywhere? Does she use your loofah? I don't have a loofah. Okay, well, if I move in, you can't use mine. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> hey, Howard, uh, how's the Wi-Fi in the garage? I don't know. Why are you asking all these questions? Well, to be honest, Dennis is on the other line and he offered me the spare bedroom. Great, go live there. But you made the garage sound so fun. I just didn't want you to feel bad about it. Unless Leonard's apartment also has a raccoon that chews its way in on cold nights, go there. One second. <clears throat> okay, I think we're close. How do you feel about a mini fridge in my room? Hey, pal, you want to live here or not? Oh, uh, hi, Penny. Yes, please. Hey, uh, what do you think we should open our show with? Uh, Thor and Dr. Jones or Let's Get Astrophysical? I think we should start with something that gets them up on their feet. Maybe Sherlock around the clock. Great, yep. Uh, let's give it a try. Harry, snapping, keep it down! Oh, right, sorry. It's cool, we don't need volume to rock. <laughs> Instead of blowing the roof of this place, we can gently lift it off and set it quietly down in the backyard. <laughs> On Baker Street. Come on, doctor. Time to move them feet. Sing it with us. Sherlock, Sherlock. Sherlock on the clock. We can't hear you. Sherlock, Sherlock. Sherlock on the clock. Nice going. Sorry, sorry. I'll get her. One sec. Be right back. <laughs> They're remaking your show, and they cast Will Wheaton as Professor Proton. And the worst part is, he's not even a scientist. No, the, the worst part is, I'm sitting on a moist log. <laughs> we have to stop this and protect your legacy. What legacy? My, my last two seasons, I was on Sunday morning at 5.30. We, we were beat by Davy and Goliath. I can't believe you don't care. Believe it. Well, I care a lot. And Will Wheaton will rue the day he ever met me. I think that's true of most people. Sometimes Amy doesn't do things because she's worried about how I'll react. First of all, it's not sometimes, it's always. 
And second, it's not Amy, it's everybody. And third, it's not news, it's well established. <laughs> yeah, like just now I wanted to get a croissant, but I didn't want to hear you say ooh la la. <laughs> so you're saying everyone walks on eggshells to spare my feelings? No, of course not, because we don't want to hear you complain about how much you hate the sound of crunching eggshells. <laughs> I want my relationship with Amy to be like that. Sheldon, Amy knew what she was getting into. You think? Yes, we warned her. <laughs> well, regardless, I can change. <laughs> yeah, of course sure. you can. <laughs> you know, everybody thinks I'm so predictable. Well, tomorrow, I'm gonna show up at work and do something no one will expect. Wear a baseball cap backwards to prove your point. Yes, but which hat? Gryffindor. Well, now that you guessed it, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you will. Yeah. And I just talked to Sheldon. He apologized about the tests and asked me to be his best man. Uh, great. After all you've done for him, he should have asked you. And Amy's your best friend. I'm sure she'll come to her senses and pick you. OK, she's not my best friend. We're not 12. She wants Bernadette to be her maid of honor. I really don't care. Sounds like you care. No, I mean, it, it's just annoying. You know, we talk every day. We see each other all the time. She's always there for me. And basically, oh my god, Amy's my best friend. <laughs> you OK? No, my best friend didn't ask me to be her maid of honor. I'm pissed. So bottom line, what you did was wrong and cruel, which the mother of my children finds oddly appealing. So she still wants to be my maid of honor? Maid of honor, hit woman, whatever you need. Make the call. <laughs> Look, I know this is your wedding and you can do whatever you want, but if you think anyone but me is going to be your maid of honor, then you're an idiot because you are my best friend. Too late, Bernadette. Bestie!